previously on Math Hands On with Python. Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Hands On with Python and today we are going to see how we can perform uh, exploratory data analysis. We know there are several uh, ways of uh, performing exploratory uh, data analysis but uh, today I'm going to show you how we can perform the exploratory data analysis using the pandas profile. So uh, I'm going to use the uh, this set of uh, uh, data as the sample data to perform the exploratory data analysis using the pandas. So now let's start. We start by importing the necessary libraries. So I have to import pandas as pd and also uh, from pandas profiling uh, import profile report then after that let's load our data I have showed you the data which I'm going to use this is the sample data with three variables reckless driving uh, vehicle defects and the speed okay so I'm loading the data the data frame is going to be pd dot read underscore csv my data are in csv format so the axe data dot csv and then uh, you can command the visualization of data let's run this but before running let's uh, save this file okay so we save the file as profile report then after saving the file then we can run and see the output if we have managed to load our data or not so this is our data set and the, we are going to explore the nature of this data using the pandas profiling. Now let's prepare a profile report. Uh, okay, we use the profile report function and uh, we put in our data frame. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video and the, the channel to other. Uh, data scientist and anyone who wants to learn uh, data analysis. So we have our output here. So you can see this is the profile report with the overview tab, uh, variable, correlation, missing values, and sample. So from overview, you can have the overview of all the information that you have. Uh, the other uh, tab, which is for the variables, you can see your variables here with the uh, uh, description. So the right you have the distribution or the histogram showing the distribution of the data. So for more uh, details or description of this data you click to the toggle and then you can find here the descriptive information of this uh, specific variable. So we have the minimum up to uh, interquartile range and the standard deviations and so forth. So this is for the variable reckless driving. Uh, also, you can have this information for the other variables uh, in the variable uh, tab is that uh, you are going to have these informations describing your variables and also if you click toggle, you will have the information specific for these uh, variables. So uh, uh, apart from this uh, variable tab, then we have the correlation uh, which shows the correlation of your variables in your data set and this correlation tab uh, give you different uh, way of uh, visualizing correlation using the Pearson R, Spearman, Kendall, and the uh, FIC. And the, the other tab is for missing values. So you can see here, uh, this is a count uh, way of visualizing missing values of your variables. So you can see all the variables here the names of the variable are here below all the variables have uh, 26 counts okay and that means uh, the data set we have also have 20 
uh, six count. So uh, in all three variables, we don't have missing values, okay? So you can visualize the, uh, the count for missing values using uh, this count here or matrix, and you can see uh, this visualization here. And the last tab is the sample, and this one offers how you can draw the samples from your data set, okay? So you can see, uh, because I have 26 uh, counts of my variables, then I have two sample that the first one with 10 elements and the uh, second one with 10 elements. So this is how you can perform data exploration it just in a few minutes and you will have the results. Okay, so I encourage you to use the uh, profile report for quick and easy data exploration. So uh, for today, let's uh, stop here. Until next time, goodbye.